begin here in De Pere, where the return of winter weather means road crews have been out in full force working to keep our roads safe. But as more studies show how salt is impacting our waterways, many are switching to a road solution that's better for the budget and the environment. De Pere neighborhood reporter Chris Lemo reports. Recent studies from the Wisconsin DNR say that the chloride levels in local waterways continue to rise in part due to excess salt usage during the winter months. Chloride is part of salt. Shannon Hayden is the stormwater runoff section manager for the Wisconsin DNR. She says the increased chloride can impact local fishing. More salty water kills off some of the other biology in the waterway that then creates those algae blooms. Tony Feetzer is the street supervisor in De Pere's Public Works Department. He said the impact can be seen on cars too. Chlorides are corrosive. We're not out to try and rust your car out. Any chloride, any salt we put down is going to be corrosive. But by reducing the volume of salt in there, we're hoping that we're minimizing that. But as winter continues, there's an effort in communities like De Pere to use cheaper and more eco-friendly ways to clear the roads. Feetzer says making the switch from simple rock salt to a saltwater combination called brine can help the environment and the city's bottom line. Uh, salt brine can be made very cheap. As you can see behind me, De Pere has three of these big tanks at their Department of Public Works. Two of them hold salt brine, but this one right here is really special as when the temperature is between negative six and negative 60, they add in a little bit of calcium chloride. So when it feels a lot more like the frozen tundra in Northeast Wisconsin, they can still keep the roads safe with a different brine mixture. Brine machines can be hard to come by, making De Pere a popular stop for other areas looking to switch over to a cheaper but still effective de-icing product. We do have other municipalities that come that don't have brine making facilities that can come in and purchase brine from us. Feetzer also says that not only is excess salt usage negatively impacting waterways, it also has a national impact on infrastructure. For every one dollar of chlorides we introduce to the roads, ten dollars of infrastructure damage is being occurred. Hayden with the DNR says the hope is that if the private sector can follow the lead of communities like De Pere, the dramatic rise of chloride in local waterways will begin to level off. Your neighborhood reporter in De Pere, Chris Lemo, NBC 26.